and family, it is I, James Bell. Very excited to be back on this side of the camera, getting to talk and play with cars again, just like I used to do when I was with you on, on the media side of things. And I know what it's like, you know, you, you get to drive cool cars, you get to spend time with them, your friends and family wanna know about them. Well, it's now it's my turn to share something very exciting about this car with you. This, of course, is the Kia Nero. You already know the car. We, we introduced it with two different powertrains. It is a plug-in hybrid as well as a standard hybrid, but now we're really up in the game. We're now bringing out the full EV version. 239 miles on a charge. We're gonna do some crazy driving with this thing to show you just how far you can go. You know, 239 miles on a charge, that's four or five days of driving without even worrying about taking on a charge. That is comfort, that's peace of mind, and that's what this vehicle does. Speaking of comfort, what we're most excited about is that the, this car is being introduced just as this type of vehicle, the size of vehicle, is the hot ticket. You, you know that better than me. You're out on all these press events. You're going to the auto shows. You know that this kind of vehicle, this small crossover space is where the action is. So we think it's perfect timing to be introducing this, the full electric version of the Nero EV. Okay, now sit back, relax, get comfortable. It's time for the proverbial car walk around. And we're gonna start up here at the front. Now, it, you can recognize this as a Nero, but we have some subtle changes. First off, it's a full LED headlamp system here. We've got these cool Arrowhead LED DRLs. What do you see this car at night? Looks awesome. Uh, a revised intake here with this fantastic blue trim, which is an uh, icon of our electric vehicles. And then of course, the biggest marker is our Tiger Nose grill has been sealed off here. Obviously without an ICE engine inside here, no need for the cooling there. Now here's something that's interesting. I used to own an uh, EV vehicle that had its charge point at the back. And actually that was a bit of a pain. Sometimes at different charging stations, you had to get yourself arranged just right. But by putting it here in the front, it's simple. Hey, it's Kia. We try to make everything simple. Moving from the front, we come along the side of the Nero EV here and see a couple key points. First off are these cool 17 inch aero style wheels specific just for the Nero EV. See, he's got this black cladding along the side that gives it that, that uh, very uh, with it and hip uh, small SUV look. So important to this marketplace right now. Got about a one third to two thirds ratio in the DLO up here. Gives you great visibility. Also that nice easy in out point uh, for climbing in and out of the car and this long wheelbase allows a couple things. First off, plenty of room for your passengers and plenty of room for a low mounted battery pack. And if you want more details about uh, how the electrons do their thing and kilowatt hours and all that fun stuff, be sure to check out the media kit. All the details are there. It's all available. Moving around to the rear of the car, we come across a couple key points for the Nero EV we want you to be aware of. First off, all LED tail lamp assembly here not only looks better, looks modern and fresh, but also manages those electrons all the better to keep that better efficiency and uh, last a lot longer too. So we love the LEDs. Down below here, we pick up on that blue trim again, you see that we saw from the front and also a kind of a redesigned lower balance here for better aerodynamics. All aluminum tailgate, so not only easy to lift, lighter weight, but also obviously giving a lighter vehicle overall. And again, let's talk about visibility. You've got that perfect ratio of one third to two thirds. So you got tons of glass, great visibility all the way around and ton of space for your stuff. So you know I like the outside, but you're gonna like the inside even more. Once you get yourself settled inside the car, you're gonna see that it's familiar Nero, but there's been some EV upgrades. First off, you have this rotary dial and this kind of floating panel here for uh, adjusting the transmission and all the different functionality. You've got this big uh, space here for storage and your cup holders. Uh, another big storage space here down below. And as this is an electric vehicle, there's specific information you need to really maximize the drive. Through this system, you have the ability to locate charging stations, monitor energy flow and usage, schedule pre-charging and cabin heating or air conditioning. And don't forget, this is Kia, standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that keeping with the technical element and spirit of this car, it has standard wireless charging for your phone. Now it's your turn. Looking forward to seeing what you have to say about the Nero EV because I know, like myself, you've driven lots of EVs and they can become a bit appliance-like. 
but I think you're gonna notice right away that this car is not that way. This one has a lot of spirit, a lot of personality, and if you have additional technical details or points you need to know for your reviews, please jump onto kiamedia.com or feel to reach out to anybody on our PR team. Thanks for watching.